Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Mark Herbex. Today we are at a abandoned outdoor activities. This is a paintball activity which has been uh, abandoned, deserted. And we're going to just take a look around because there's absolutely not much left of it to be fair. So down in the trees there we've got a couple of um, so-called, what you're looking like, tanks sort of things. Mock-up tanks. I'm going to focus on it. There you go, so there's those. There's one there. There's another one down the bottom. Down the bottom end. So, uh, we'll just take a look around. Let's get my focus set up. Another vehicle here. Bit of fun to uh, check this out. Some ammo crates. Yeah. Just turn me light on a sec, guys. There's the inside. So it is an actual vehicle. There's a couple of bits around the area we're going to go and check out. Just jumping down. <laughs> Swap. Again. Toilets. So we've got toilets here, guys. Some photographs over there on the wall. So we've got this uh, section here. Look at all these sheds here. There's all these sheds. So this is where you would have come to get yourself organised in. This is the so-called shop area. It's just completely abandoned. Nothing much left of it really. Tea and coffee stuff. The cabinet there. Still got the sink over there. So the seating area where the benches would be if you come and have your coffee. Completely overgrown now, as you can see. It's a shame really. It's all been left like this now. It wouldn't take much to put it back in action, but you know, depends whether people want it. There's like things on the floor left here, there's, there's all sorts, there's these rocket pouch things. This is 
the other side. pouches on the floor, jackets and helmets, clothing, people would have wore. Camouflage stuff, bits of paint, guns. I'm not sure what's in there. Things are empty. Bits of paint guns there, look. That's the old shed. Got a bit there you can sit under in the shade drink your coffees. Not too sure what's down here. Staff only. And that door is completely sealed. So there's not much out here really. Rubbish, really. Just a yard. Somebody had a bonfire. So again, it's just a small explore, guys. We've just uh, been out and about, walking around uh, an area, and we saw this. Walking through the woods, there's no security signs. There's no trespassing signs, there's nothing, you just literally walk straight into the woods via a footpath and here you are stumbling upon this decaying outdoors activity centre again you got this shed with more benches beautiful woodland around an amazing place all these lockers Lockers for people's belongings, I would assume. So we're going to take a walk up and have a look at another area of this. So um, we'll catch you when we get around the corner. So we're just walking around a couple of uh, these fences a minute. In the shed. It's a gorgeous day today guys, the sun is shining, the pathway through there, not too sure where that goes. There's something in the trees up there. I don't think I'd want to come here at night in these woods. Looks like some sort of castle. Okay. Some castle area.
Look at that guys, that's cool. Wouldn't you want one of them in your garden? What a stunning location this is. So this is a mock-up of a fort, which I must admit looks very cool. All these little areas you can shoot from. We've got the upper level, so we'll go up and have a look at that. Just make sure everything's in focus. Got another two rooms outside. So this is pretty solid and it's safe. So that's just a strategic point. Firing down at your enemy. Beautiful old tree there. Bits of fort on the ground down there, so it might have been a bit more added to this. Robert's down there somewhere doing something. So yeah, this is this is um abandoned outdoor paintball facility. It's been closed down now for a while. Um I don't know a great deal about it. I don't know how long it's been going. I won't be able to reveal the location. Let's just pop into that rope. And my laces are coming down. Just bear with me guys, I'll just put my laces up. Okay, so back down the stairs we go. It's a cool old place, isn't it? Mm. Yep. It probably wouldn't take much to put back in action, would it? No. Just head back up this way over the tree. Yeah, I've never come to one of these uh, outdoor activity places. My son has, but uh, I've not uh, really bothered. Well, that doesn't go anywhere, and this just goes back down. <coughs> so what we do is we'll just take a walk back down, and I'll catch you back at the bottom. So we're uh, back down where we started. It's kind of Bits over there, there's something in the distance there, but oh, it's like a place you can just, it's like a thing you can just hide behind. So, coming down to the coming down to the vehicle again, there's a chain on the tree here, that'll help me get down. Is that a vehicle? 
lit while I'm in the car. And this must be like a jail. This must be the jail. Help, let me out. It's on the floor down there, I don't know what that is. So yeah, this could be a timeout jail. Maybe. Pretty secure. I'll take a little walk down and see these other vehicles down here. They're supposed to be tanks. There are mock-up tanks. Oh, and it's all made out of wood. That's quite mad. Yeah. I would imagine that'll pass from a distance. Smoke grenade. There's a smoke grenade down there. And this is the inside of the tank. So you basically just hide in here, shoot your opponents, the enemy. There's a couple more, there's one down there. And there's another one there. This one's got a shorter gun. Don't know what happened to the gun on that. safe it is but ah oh, that's why the gun's short somebody pulled it back in so you can pull it back out make it bigger but yeah what an interesting place yeah quite interesting these like smoke grenades lying around everywhere so it's not a great deal here guys <coughs> flies in my mouth yeah there's not a great deal here there's a couple of bits it's quite interesting So just bear with me was a trip through up here. So guys, yeah, that's pretty much it for the the outdoor activities place. Um again that's that mad vehicle. Wish I had a few me a few more of them. There used to be a place um up near uh, Exeter that used to have uh, old helicopters and things in. That would have been quite cool to muck around with. So um yeah like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one sorry it's a short one but uh it's just a little bit of something to look at a little dust off my camera and i'll catch you later on thank you very much